Okay, okay. It's time for another video. Today, we're going to be playing the Stone Titan, which has quickly become one of the most requested monsters on the channel. Before we get into the video, let's go over the abilities real quick. We have the M1, which is going to be the Ground Slam. The M2 is going to be this Laser Beam that kind of has a little bit of auto-aim built in. And lastly, but not least, we have this Q ability, which is going to form a ball behind us. And it does shoot projectiles. Today, we're going to be going for a purely AoE build. Now, um, if you don't know what AoE, it means area of attack. And basically, there's a few different items in the game that let you kill an entire screen rather quickly by killing one enemy. And I'll show you what that means in just a second. Nice, we did get one item. One item is going to help us for sure. And we're going to start off with Will of the Wisp. Now, Will of the Wisp, um, on killing an enemy, spawns a lava pillar and a 12 meter radius for 350% damage. Okay, so after a little bit of grinding... Um, basically, you can see in the, in right here, we have six gasolines with a radius of 32 meters and uh, two will the wisp with a, with a radius of 14 meters. Now, what we're going to do is I am going to try to kill one of these enemies and let you just kind of sit back and watch what happens to all the rest of them. See that? And that's going to spread to the point where it one shots a stone titan. Something we can do to boost our power through the roof is going to be this ignition tank now this will add 300 percent more damage plus 300 percent per stack to our current damage we're gonna go ahead and grab a forgive me please now this will throw a cursed doll that triggers any on kill effects if i grab this and i throw it you'll see everything on the map just kind of ceases to exist so we're gonna go ahead and mosey up to the teleporter here or rather slot up to the teleporter here and I want to see just how much damage we can already do with 11 sacks of gasoline, 3 of Will of the Wisp, and 4 of Ignition Tanks. Because that's our main damage. Nothing else we have as a damage other than these three things, right? And our abilities are good, but not crazy yet. So, we're going to keep going here. And we'll see the teleporter's boss spawn. Wandering Vagrant. We'll toss this out right here. And you can see the absolute crazy damage we can get going here. Excellent. So now we're on the wow, the sanctuary. Now you can see that the other items that I'm adding on now are just gonna kind of add some more and more value to this. Forgive me, please build. We have the damage, which is off the charts. We have the monster tooth to heal us. We now have bandoliers to reset all of our cooldowns, and we have topaz brooches that will go ahead and uh, stack up for us to give us some added health, which you can see right here. If I do this, you can see our it's starting to try a little bit more, but we're going to need a few more Topaz Roosters to keep it, keep it going. And we're going to go ahead and show the teleporter. Now, I'm going to try again to see how much more damage we do. Clay Dune Shutter, how are you, buddy? And you can see that once these things really start that good damage, it's just kind of over for them. And I, I do feel quite bad, to be honest. Now, let's face it, I don't feel bad at all. And we are already up to 14 gasolines, which has a radius of 64 meters and a damage of... 1,125 plus the damage added on, which is another 1,500 damage from the ignition tanks. And there we go. The ally worship unit's already here. Now, what I think I could do is jump on his face and see if he catches me. Catch me. Oh my gosh, he caught me. Here's this for you. And just like that, we got the mythic item. So what I'm thinking is maybe going for the soulbound catalyst, which kills reduce the equipment cooldown by four seconds. We're going to go ahead and go for the soulbound catalyst today. And when you get a kill, you can see it has almost completely reset it again. All right. And we're already on the teleporter boss. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, so I'm so sorry. Wonderful. Okay, we're still in the game. Now, we can buy any of these, and it'll land as one of these, and we go ahead and we're going to buy the Jester of the Drowned. Now, I'm going to stick around on this stage for quite a while, because I want to make sure that we can destroy the entire map without skipping a beat. Now, oh, you can see we just tossed it out there, and there goes a pretty decent size of the map. You can see the radius kind of growing there. Okay, wonderful, and we got another Mythic. And I'm going to say we're going to go for Ceremonial Daggers because now this thing, you can see this little purple kind of dots there. Those are actually knives. And you, yep, and there you go. That's what those things do. And I constructs, um, they're gone. That's, that's just it. Finally made it up after 13 jumps. And now Mythics are going to spawn. And it's time to see just how much damage we can do to this guy. He only has 60,000 health. Walks in this radius. Oh my gosh. You can see that the per okay charge perforator was actually a good idea. It's actually striking. You can see it over there. All right, 
Keep going here. And he's dead. One phase down. Now we're going to hang on the middle here. And we're going to sit on top of this. And it's basically going to just fuel us with bandoliers, which are going to continue to let us... Uh, it's going to continue to let us melt with our laser beam, which you can see here. Oh my gosh. Nice. And he is dead. Okay, I need to make sure we hit... Can we kill him on the first? If not, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Okay, if we can do it, we got to run. Oh! What just happened? Wait, what just happened? Wait, what just happened? Um, okay. I don't know if he bugged out or if something happened with this little guy, but okay. Well, that's a success then. And just like that, we're out. Wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and look at the stats. Holy crap. 1.6 million damage with this build here. On top of that, we went ahead and dropped 4,260 kills. Before we get to the end of the video, just got to take a quick moment and say thanks again. The support on the channel has been like, okay, I'm running out of words to explain it. Okay, it's been phenomenal. Okay, we just hit 2,000 views on the last video. It's kind of funny because on my channel, you can see the proof of the growth. Like if you look at my first videos compared to now, you can legitimately see the numbers growing. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been joining the community and who's going to be here for a part of this ride. I think it's going to be a long and exciting journey. So truly, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to take a moment and say thank you. Thank you for everything, and I would genuinely appreciate it. So, if you've been enjoying the content I've been pushing out recently, show me. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe, and to make sure to hit that bell icon, because that will alert you whenever I post, so you can be here and be the first comment, because I think it's pretty cool. If you have any ideas or build ideas you want to see happen, let me know. That's my job now, is to do what you want to see, and build what you want to see. I will have a poll on the community tab of my YouTube channel, Make sure to hop over there and vote for who you want to see next because I will 100% build that monster. I built the Dune Strider and the Stone Titan purely from that pole. So make sure to go ahead, hop over there and let me know who you want to see next. And with that being said, one last time, just want to say thank you guys for all the support. You guys are truly amazing and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.